Welcome once again for our third cast marathon here of COD4 Action. Welcome to EREV TV where tonight, again, we're going to be covering Cal M, but actually we're going to get a couple different teams here in the meat grinder. And my name is Anger. In case you don't know, I've been casting the last two matches. But in case you just joined us right now, that's who I be. And co-casting with me tonight will be my man, Starbuck, a.k.a. Denim. What's up, buddy? Ah, what up, Anger? Not a whole lot. Um, waiting for this match to get underway, and as people are making fun of the dem and, uh, the denim, even the server, um, <laughs> I'm gonna hand it over back to you. <laughs> and on the video once again is the Canuck himself, Limic. What's going on, Limey? Uh, not much. Uh, keeping busy doing casts, and uh, I think I'm uh, I'm gonna have to count them, but I'm getting close to my 100 cast, and I'm sure you're already over that milestone. And uh, um, obviously from across different casting companies, but uh, yeah, it's been a while, um, uh, and and we enjoy doing it, and uh, hopefully you do uh, watching them, and um, yeah, bring the good stuff. Yeah. You know, Lamech, shit, I don't even know how many casts I've done. I've butchered so many in the in the past, but uh, who knows how many I have. But it's always fun. I love doing it, and I love uh, casting for you people out there. I know I screw up a lot, but it's okay. It's all good. Um, if I was any better, I'd be on ESPN, but that's for, uh, that's for Shanks because he has that voice, and uh, I get hard-ons every time I hear him. Yeah, but yeah, we're but here, anger, Starbuck. The, pro the, the problem is, Anger, for ESPN, you got to have the looks as well. Oh, well, let me tell you, man. I'm a Latin heartthrob there, Limey. Let me tell you, dude. <laughs> At least my wife thinks so. I had, I had so. to try it. <laughs> all right. We're going to talk about yeah, the I two teams you. here since Limey is talking smack on me. It's all good, baby. I love you. My brother to the north of the border there. Uh, we're going to talk about Violentricity and um, uh, Empyrean. I know I'm probably butchering that that team name, but please someone let me know about that. Starbuck, I know you know these two teams well. We got to see Violentricity on the last day for Cal uh, main move-ups, and uh, I can't forget my man Flying Rice. That is a name of all. But uh, let's talk about these two teams. Uh, let's we'll start off with Empyrean. Where did they come from? How did we get here with them? All right, Empyrean, um, pretty diverse team. Uh, they have members from QND, Isolated, Pure, IOG, and Frag Dominant. So they're, um, I would say, they're, they're kind of like the, the California of teams. You know, they've got Asians, they've got, you know, whites, they've got blacks. You know, they got the whole interracial thing going on. Wow. Um, exactly, and little they are led. Little mutts or what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far, as uh, they are led by uh, Tuki. And then, of course, Fear, uh, also their uh, leadership group. So, you know, they're, they're seasoned veterans of COD 4 and of COD 2, a lot of these guys. Uh, I know Noble personally, Fear, Hype. So a lot of these guys I do know, and they're a good bunch of guys. Oh, yeah, we're going to definitely, if we can cue it up at the right moment, we'll definitely hear Fear uh, singing his ass off like he's, think like he's <laughs> on, on some type of American Idol. People love War Room. We used to do IOG, and just because of his singing ability there. So we'll we'll make sure uh, we'll get in there. Hopefully we can hear him uh, uh, sing a little bit there. So uh, let's talk a little bit about Vibatricity. Uh, we took a look at them, uh, myself and and you, Starbuck, uh, before the, for the last Cal Main Move Up match, and they actually were very very impressive there uh, to actually get into this place where they're at right now. Yeah, um, you know a lot of people said that they're not going to make it. They're not good enough. Uh, but as we saw in that cast, they are good enough, and they, you know, they did a, a really good job in that match. And of course, you can't forget last week when Guardians went up against Voluntricity, and Voluntricity barely lost by a two-point margin, 13 to 11. So there is a lot of mom uh, momentum and a lot of skill in this team, and you know, I don't think uh, Empyrean should be deceived by this zero and one score that Voluntricity has. Uh, also, although uh, Empyrean did win last week, 13 to 11, so really close match there by both teams. Um, Empyrean actually won against Regeneration, so you know both teams. Uh, it's still early in the season; anything can happen. Voluntricity zero to one. They need this uh, victory a little more than Empyrean, uh, but I think we're going to see a great match. Uh, of course, Voluntricity led by Delta Gamma, and of course uh, Mordecai right up top there. Uh, my good friend Felony uh, C. Anderson from Cal, and of course, like you said, cannot forget Flying Rice. Yeah, and 
Yeah, no doubt about that, about flying rice. Right. We're going to be listening to teams, uh, both of their teams' war rooms tonight, so that's going to be uh, pretty fun here. So we'll make sure we uh, listen in on that. And Limec also has the instant replay. Now let's talk about what we saw a little bit earlier when you were in your match there. We had a Cal Open match, when, which went into two overtimes. Then we went to our first Cal M match uh, between Nexus and Eximius, and that one was pretty much a blowout. Nexus just pretty much wiping the floor of Eximius. Now, um, what are the keys to this match, Starbuck? Uh, what are we going to see? Are we going to see a blowout uh, like we did in the Cal M match, the second match, or may possibly a, a double OT match or even just a one OT match uh, like we did in the first match? Well, if I had to say you know, one thing out of those two, I'd say it's going to be a really close match. Both teams are equally matched, uh, I think, with, with skill, with experience. Um, you know, I think it's going to be come down right to the wire. MP5s on this map, as you know, are, are deadly in the right hands of, of course, you know, people like Nightfall, Logan, you know, all these great players. And, of course, there's some great players on here. Rice with, you know, I mean, he, he might snipe. I'm not sure he is a sniper. So we'll see. MP5 in style. I don't know. But everybody is ready. So I'm going to go and ready up. Yeah, ready up there, Limek, as Okay, it looks like everybody's uh, ready up, at least from our end, so no one's waiting on us. So it's going to be interesting here. I, know I have not, unfortunately, have not got to see Empyrean here uh, play as a team. Again, a lot of mixtures of different talents here on this team. So let's see how they could gel this together uh, going up against Violentricity here. So right now, again, uh, the Marines will be Empyrean. That will be Noble, Hype, JT Snake, Mr. K, and Fear. And for the Op 4 side, that will be Violentricity, that will be Toxic, Flying Rice, Mordecai, Maka, and Felony. And off the start here, looks like Maka might be AFK because all four members of, <laughs> from Violentricity have moved out. So we'll take a look at that. So what do you have over there for the Empyrean side? Yeah, Maka is actually 999, but right now the Empyrean side, right now uh, we got Fear top of the Tin House. Fear taking out Fel, nice shot there. Um, like you said, Empyrean are on the Marine side. They are going to be defending, uh, which is definitely the easier side here on this map. It's about a, an 8 to 4, 9 to 3 map. It depends on how you're uh, playing it on offense, but right now we've got Empyrean in the lead, uh, a 5 on 3 because Maka is timed out. Check the, oh, Snake into Toxic, so going to make that a five on two with two players left. Where are they at, Anger? Yeah, right now I'm looking at Noble here. He's got control of the mid area near the uh, bulldozer here. Again, uh, top of the dumpster here, trying to take out. Uh, he has got backup from JT Snake here. And uh, Snake taking out Mordecai with a nice MP5 placement. Right now I'm looking at Fear here as he get across through the hole. It's going to be all five members going up against Maka, the timed out player. So this round is pretty much over there. Noble taking out the uh, connection interrupted uh, player of Maka. And Empyrean will take an early 1-0 to zero lead. Not a very good start here to get a connection interrupted. And it looks like it may be a non-round there. I'm not really, really sure what's going on here. Um, all right, well Maka there. Coming back in, I'm not sure what happened with the uh, server. Fear is trying to be funny, uh, and I'm going to try to do the map restart here. Um, with their amazing server, of course, hosted by Cybersport Hosting. So uh, right now, it is 104. I believe it was uh, Imperin there as uh, the Voluntricity Maca did time out. So right now, people are going to uh, slash reconnect. So it is going to be a dead round, Anger, right here. You know what? I, I should slap you silly because he's in the channel earlier. Yeah, this server never. <laughs> you it wasn't it. the server. You it was the guy lagging me. out. No, it was okay, my fault. All right. I'm, I'm just going to blame it on him. It probably wasn't, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. Limek, you, you called it, bro. You said he was going to jinx it, and what happens <laughs> on the first round? Freaking Denim jinxes this whole <laughs> match here. Thank you, Denim. God. Well, you know. This is just how it is, Anger. Sometimes you got to roll a hard six, but right now people are getting back in. Uh, wow, Felony you just says they're gonna slash snake tables. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude, you're a baddie, man. <laughs> in case you, in case you don't know, and you live on another planet, if you want to get a hold of us with your shoutouts, you can head on over to IRC at pound e dash rev on the Game Search Network. You can get a hold of myself, E Rev Anger, or my man Denim himself, E Rev Starbuck. We'll make sure we'll get those shoutouts over the air. And uh, you know what? I'll do that right now since I have, we have a few moments here. My man Jeweler here. Uh, watch for Eximius to cut the team after this ass whooping, and that's from Jeweler. Jeweler having a little hate there. We have one from Stocky. I love you too. Laugh out loud. Uh, shout out this out. Dark had my babies. Okay. He, looks like you got laid there. Nice job. 
So it looks like we're ready to go underway. And why are people dying? Okay. I'm, I'm they're gonna slash kill. Right. They're gonna slash kill right now to make the score um even again because as you know the score was one to zero. So right now voluntricity is gonna okay. slash kill, so they don't have to restart the map. And I'm hoping the server okay. doesn't. Okay, good. <laughs> That's why I have you here, Starbuck, to really get me through these little tedious times that we have. So right now, yes. you know what, let's do something a little different. Let's kick off War Room really quick. Let's go to uh, Violetricity's War Room. I want to hear Flying Rice. I got, I got base here still. I want to move to B. B, B stair. One A. Move B. Street, back street. And B, 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 rotate, guys, rotate. Back B in our spawn. We got it, we got it. Chill out. Tag on the bomb. Nice. One kill for everybody. All right, Everyone back to live action hard. there. So Violet Tristy coming out of the gates here in the second round and tie uh, even everything up here one to one. Uh, very interesting round there. Violet Tristy uh, doing a nice job there. Had all five members up for almost half of that round there, uh, Starbuck. Yeah, they did, but uh, they did pull it out against Emperor there. So one to one is the score. I'm gonna follow their defense. Just kind of see what they're doing. They're sending two people A. It's gonna be hype and uh, snake, snakes staying back just a little bit. Uh, they are going to send, I believe it's Mr. K, yes, Mr. K is going to go top, he is not going to into Noble there, 4 on 5 now, in favor 4, Emperor, but check that snake into Maka once again, so uh, a little trading of fire going on here, Anger. Yeah, right now we have a Felony, Flying Rice, Toxic, and Mordecai for Violent Tricity going up against Hype, Fear, Mr. K, and Snake. And uh, right now, Mr. K and Hype doing a nice job taking out two uh, Violent Tricity members there. Toxic taking out JT Snake while Flying Rice getting uh, taken out with the M4 of Fear. So right now we have uh, three members from Empyrean going up against Toxic. So let's take a look at Toxic as he's bleeding. Oh, he just gets wiped out by Fear there from mid-building with the M4. So right now, Empyrean getting that lead 2-1 to one back in their favor. A nice job by them there. I was going to ask you, uh, Starbucks, uh, I know you're going to be heading off to Nerveland in, uh, on the East Coast there. Uh, I may be, yes. I'm still looking for um, some team offers, uh, still considering, so we're going to have to see. But right now, I'm going to follow Noble. Why? What's up? No, I was just saying, you know, if anybody wants some denim, uh, get my oh. man Starbucks. He's a great player. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure, you know. I'm alright, but they gotta deal with the denim, so I don't know if he can do that or not. I know Logan had to deal with it at the last slam, but you know, me and him, I gotta tell you, me and Logan's relationship goes beyond friendship, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Right now, two on three, I'm gonna pick it up here as live action. <laughs> My electricity with Maka, Toxic, and Mordecai up, and Emperor, and then Hype and Noble. Right now, Maka hears the jingle. Uh, that's from his teammate, uh, Mordecai, and uh, Toxic. Toxic laying down the bomb at a bomb site. So right now, two people left for Emperor. It's going to be Noble, and he does take out Toxic. So now, one on two, actually. Excuse me, Noble at the bomb. Going to do a real defuse there. Maka is going to check it, though. Noble's about to get right there. It goes oh. by Maka. Nice try. Score is two to two. Yeah, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. You got raped. Wow. He just got taken out there at the A bomb site. Yeah, I'm going to be heading over to the Gigafrag land on the West Coast. So a uh, little East Coast, West Coast landing there. And uh, e -Rev will be covering both lands live. So make sure if you, I know there's a shitload of people going to the Nerve land. And I know there's uh, a good turnout so far for the Gigafrag land. So uh, make sure you join the uh, Cal forums and get more details on those two lands. I know Chimpei's getting a lot of info out. And uh, Kid Sushi's getting a lot of info out for his... Uh, land on the west coast there as I'm getting some beer burps. <laughs> Alright, right now, 2 on 5. Wow, Final Tricity in a hole here. Looks like the last two players are going to be Felony and Flying Rice, and that's a clean sweep, taking out the brushes.
by Emperor. Three to two. So right now they are on the defensive side. They need to pick it up a little bit. Um, you know, they're leading by a one point margin. Not gonna be good enough here. Yeah, no doubt about that. And right now, let's uh, head on over to let's just see if Fear's uh, singing here. Let's go to Imperian's vent here. I want to see if he's singing. I'm going mid. One's opening. I'm head up. One went top B. One just jumped in front of uh, BMG. Back hill turn. One's apartments. B apartments hurt. Nice job, JT. Glasses apartment. Dead. Nice. I fucking flashbanged him. He was raped. <laughs> Alright, back to live action. And Empyrean gets that round there. Four to two right now. As we head into the seventh round, Starbucks. So so far what have we had what have we seen so far from uh, both of these teams? Uh, very c consistent gameplay so far. Uh, like I said before, it is going to be a very close match. They're evenly skilled. I mean, we can see this right here from the from the shots, from the strats. Uh, very similar. Lots of nade kills. You know, fruit baskets flying around. It's hype once again into Maka. Snake into Toxic. I'm cursing everybody here as nades are flying. Five on three sit now for Emperor. And, and you know... The nades are so crucial on this map once again. I wish they weren't, but they are. And it's that's what's playing out right here with both teams. It is a four on two right now, Edgar. Yeah, Empyrean right now, I mean, they're really getting into a site really, really quickly. And it's really giving Violent Tricity here so oh! some problems off the get-go. Oh, yeah. oh, hype! <laughs> wow, hype there. Oh, my God. Didn't wear, his, <laughs> didn't wear his shin guards and decides just to go in the basement. Well, bad idea. Dude, you're going to have to put the helmet on, Hype. I mean, you're going to get on the <laughs> short bus for that one. My God. <laughs> yeah, he actually got shot as he was going down, but, you know, that's no excuse. I'm sorry. You know, a crater is a crater, and that was live on Erev, so he's going to have to do some explaining later on in Vent. As right now, still a 5-on-5, five five, no nade kills, so c c good thing there. But Noble on the tractor trying to peek and peek and he gets oh JT Ooh. with the pineapple into Mordecai into flying rice four on three right now JT into toxic four on two in favor more emperor and hype is battling someone right below him he is bleeding red he's got the deagle out but he doesn't get a shot so he's gonna right now go Mordecai right now, calling a dead round at the next one so just FYI there uh, let's see what the nice two people are left We've got Maka timed out, and Felony gets taken out there by Fear. And that's it, 6-2, to two, and looks like a dead round is going to be incoming here. Yeah, Maka needs to get off the dial-up, bro, because, I mean, this is the <laughs> second time he's timed out. He needs to uh, come up to uh, uh, recent times here and get, like, Cable or something, at least DSL. Oh, my goodness, this guy keeps uh, timing out here. So it was a dead round. So we're going to have to really keep close tabs on the score here. And uh, right now, we have for Empyrean, we have JT Snake going 11-3. and three. We have Fear going 7-2. and two. While Maka, even though he's timing out, he's going 5-6. and six, And Toxic going 3-7 and seven for Violentricity on the Op4 side. Yeah, right now, Empyrean looking very in control of this match. I believe the score is 6-2. to two, So uh, doing a fine job. If they can get 9 rounds here on defense, they should be set. Um... You know, getting three rounds on offense, four rounds, isn't that hard. So as long as I get nine, uh, it should be um, smooth sailing from here on out for Emperor. And, uh, <laughs> as Fear, uh, I got to I gotta say this anger right now. Fear says, shout out to my mother. Thank you for having me, but F you for my sister. All right, so there you go. Uh, shout outs in the game happening while this dead round is underway. Yeah, it looks like a little family rivalry there. Fear uh, feeling a little... Uh... <laughs> Feeling a little threatened there in the family. Is he not getting the bigger portions in the dinner table? I'm not sure here. I don't know, but I'm sure he's singing on vet right now because his team is leading 62 as Mac finally gets back in the server. Uh, had to redial that dial-up number, but here it is, 62. <laughs> so, AOL. Uh, <laughs> AOL, you've got mail. Oh, man. Anyway, that was, this is just good stuff here. And again, we're waiting for him to come back on. Looks like he's already loaded up, so we're just waiting here. And now they want to know how they can handle this. Uh, well, 
they could just play it out really like we did last time. I think you were on this uh, last one, Starbucks, where we just played it out and we just uh, kind of dis, dis we didn't really count the other round and we went right into halftime and, and kept playing on from there. I'm not really sure how this is going to work out though, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm asking them if they want to restart or not. They don't. Okay, so right now it's going to be live. Uh, score is 6-2 to two, and it is going to be live right now. Alrighty then. So uh, you know what? Let's take it off to uh, Perian's vent. I know we just came from there the last time, but uh, let's see if you're singing. I don't know if he's singing yet, but uh, let's go there now. Imperian's vent. Shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Go kill yourself. Wanna switch from me, hype? Got one B. I'm switching. One's BMG still. One's outside of A. My AJT. P front A. P front A, JT. So we can hear it now. He's around here. Okay. Watch the front door. Sit. Front He's what height? Back A. Yeah, one There's another one there. Top MG. Jump Top B. Mid. Come on, D. D. He's there, Mr. K. He's at B. Mm hmm. Might be laundry. Just don't die. Just don't die. Back ten. Yeah, he went laundry. No, he's on the bomb. He's on the bomb. Okay. Yeah, he's off. Nice job, guys. Nice. All right, back to live side. action there, and Imperian getting a nice eight to two lead here. And Starbuck, one of the things that I noticed there on that particular round, Biometricity had a nice go into uh, a bomb site, but one of the key things here is that they're not doing is keeping Empyrean out of the mid area. Empyrean has had total control of that thus far. Yeah, if they can get it to mid house, it's really hard to plant the a bomb. Uh, you just get walled. You know, it's it's walling of this map is just like crossfire. I mean, we've seen people do it when we casted. Uh, the, um, the hoodies match, Logan was just walling through that wall, and the same thing is happening on this match. Maka into fear, so Voluntaristi starting off the round good, but Snake into Maka. So right now, three on four, four. The Voluntaristi side, so maybe they can get a couple rounds here on uh, offense, because they're going to need those rounds once they get into defense. Uh, you don't want to be behind too far, or else it'll look pretty frustrating for, uh, if you're you know, down 10-2, 9-3. It's just not a good score to have. Uh, Mr. K looking pretty comfortable there on top B. And check that he's bleeding red now as he does get a shot at by Voluntaristi. And Felony there coming in with a nice MP5 kill. Flying Rice into hype, so one, that one on three situation. It's going to be Snake. He is the last one up, and he is in the bottom of the garage site with a 47 now. He hears the jingle. Gonna pre-fire, and there it is, but he got shot in the back. Gonna have to head back in the garage. So right now, up for Volatricity is Toxic Felony and Flying Rice, and there's Snake, and Rice throws some rice into Snake's eyes, and he goes down. Yeah, Volatricity really needed that round there, Starbucks. So 8-3 to three right now. Now they still need a couple more here. Uh, at least try to keep this close before we get to halftime and they make that initial switch over uh, to the defensive side. So right now uh, we're going to listen into the Vi Violentricity's war room. So Limek, let's go there now. First floor A, he's maybe coming out. No, he's not. Yeah, he probably came out, he flashed me. Yep. Oh, he's on the bomb. Top mid. Sure. Talk to you gotta back to live action. There, if Violentricity ever needed a round, it was that one and this one. Right now, they're down nine to three in the half. 
and uh, right now they're going to be making that switch. So this is going to be a tough task like you were stating a little bit earlier there, Starbuck, as uh, Biotricity is going to go on the defensive side. Yeah, that's right. But right now the score, um, I believe, is going to be 8-3 to three because, as you know, there was a dead round, uh, which yeah. uh, did count as the round. So they're right now saying Starbuck restart. and Okay, let me do it right now. Yeah, I did forget about that. I apologize to the masses. So uh, do your thing, Starbuck, there as we restart this. So again, there was a couple of dead rounds there in case you're just joining us and wondering what the hell is going on. Well, that's what's going on. So uh, Yeah, they're going to finish off this half right here. Uh, one more round left. Um, score is 8-3. to three. So yeah, if you know if Voluntristy doesn't get this round, uh, they're going to be in a big, big hole. 9-3 uh, to three is not good. Um, of a half, e even on offense, you know, offense is hard, but 93 is just a bad situation. All right, again, uh, I want to say thanks to my man Hipshot out there uh, from Cybersport Hosting giving us this server. Much love to you, buddy, and make sure you pound his channel over there at Pound Cybersport Hosting and uh, show him some love over there. And also, can't can't forget our main host here for Erev. FPS Gaming Solutions, much love to them also, as uh, they've shown us a lot of love right back. So right now, off the start of this round, Starbuck, how does uh, uh, Imperium look now off of the defensive side? They're looking great. They got control of the A-bomb site. Noble has control of mid. Snake, they're into Maka. Maka's trying to push. No way he's getting an A. Snake, once again, into Toxic. Wow, Voluntricity needs to switch something up right here. It's a 5-on-3, but Mordecai into Noble. Fear into Mordecai and Flying Rice into uh, Cheese Snake. So right now it's a 3-on-2. As you got firing going on, Flying Rice is bleeding red in the L turn. Uh, he's getting walled still. I believe it's Fear who's shooting at him and a, and a Hype, I believe, as well. So uh, Voluntricity not looking too good. Uh, Felony, though, takes out Mr. K. Felony totally flanking him. From the B-bombs, he's getting shot at right now from top. It's going to be hype. Hype into Flying Rice. So right now, one on two. Play, and that's it. Felony getting taken out by Fear. So right now, half is going to be 9-3 to three for Emperor. Yeah, and again, like you were saying, this is not a good position to be in here for, uh, for Violent Tricity. Now they're going to really have to nut it up here. And uh, hopefully they can get the job done and try to get this at least a little bit more closer or respectable. Or possibly try to push this to overtime, but they got a big hill to climb on this one. Yeah, they do, and a fear is going to restart right now. So, like, like I said, nine to three. Okay, Violentricity right now. They're in a hole. Apparent, obviously, it's it's three to nine for them. Uh, but it is a very defensive side of the map. What they need to do right now, Anger, is get the first couple of rounds to start their momentum. The momentum right now is pretty low. If they get the first couple of rounds, get some nade kills right now off the spawn. You know. I mean, this it just needs to happen. Uh, we need to see people like Flying Rice or Felony pump up the team, get some nade kills in there, get some carnades, and just rush. Because what Emperor did at the end of the uh, half there, last two or three rounds, they just flat out rushed Voluntricity. And it, it wasn't pretty, as you saw. I mean, the rounds lasted 20 to 30 seconds. So right now, Voluntricity needs to answer back before this is going to be a one-sided match. You know, this goes back to my theory, you know, maps make a team. You know, you had last week, uh, you had uh, Violentricity going up against the Guardians on Crossfire, and they lose 13 to 11 to a top-notch Guardians team. And here they're coming out, and they're pretty much kind of like laying an egg. And I don't know if it's, again, could it be the map itself? You know, certain maps make a team and, and can also break a team there, Starbuck. Uh, I can't emphasize enough, uh, Anger, how that's true. The best example I have is Pipeline, uh, which it isn't that much about the map, but it's about the side choice. Um, in the Sevo tournament, in the uh, Pro Placement tournament, there were 12 matches, okay? 12 matches on Pipeline. Out of those 12 matches, the home team, the team that got side choice, won 11 out of 12 matches. So that's about a 93, 94% win rate of the home team. So definitely, side choice and maps sometimes make matches. In this one, not as much. Uh, if, if, if I was one of these teams, I wouldn't really care. I would like to be a f uh, offense first. But, you know, if this just isn't your map, it's just not your map. It doesn't matter what side you spawn on. It doesn't matter who you're going to play. It's just not your map. All right, looks like uh, we have fear back in, so we're just waiting for everybody to ready up here. And, uh, again, we thank oh. you again uh, to the... Conf what happened? <laughs> PB. Showing a little love there for fear and kicking him, so... 
Yep. <laughs> Felony's going crazy right now. He's got his AC logs open for that MD5 tool check. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fear getting owned by PB there. All right, again, I want to thank the uh, community uh, firsthand here uh, for showing E-Rev the support here. Uh, again, we just do these casts for you guys, and uh, without your guys' votes in the uh, Match of the Week threads in, in uh, Cal uh, forums, it, this would not be, it wouldn't happen, you know. I mean, eventually, yeah, we would, but, you know, without your guys' uh, help to get in the cast, uh, cast that you guys want to see, you know, we, we, we give you guys much love, and thanks for showing us uh, love right back. And make sure you always idle, idle on on uh, pound e dash rev on the game search network and uh, we'll do our best to try to idle back um, I, I, I idle a shitload of channels but sometimes I can't even do certain things here because I idle so many but um, <laughs> nevertheless you know we'll show a lot of love back and right now it looks like we're getting things underway here so uh, fear looks like he's made it back <laughs> yeah he has alright so I'm gonna just follow uh, the emperor side here see how they Fair off of spawn. Then once again, they are going to be attacking right now on the off four side. So I'm going to follow hype, first person view. Looks like he's going to rush into a. Uh, yep, throwing that nade is going to go right bottom a, but through a little too early, I think. Uh, doesn't hit anyone. Uh, he's going to go back in the street. So still a five on five. Uh, he does have his teammate top a, so they are taking control of the a bomb site pretty nicely. Oh my, hype into toxic. Perfect shot there with the MP5, but Flying Rice there into Hypes, right? It's a 3 on 3 situation. 3 on 2 is JT into Flying Rice, so Emperor right now do have the upper hand in this battle. JT gonna lay down the package in A, does get a successful plant down, but Maka's right there shooting it down. Mr. K into Mordecai, though. So right now, 1 on 2 situation. We've got Maka left versus and Mr. K and Noble. Mr. K is shooting into Maka. Maka is totally hurt right now. He is bottom A. With the MP5, gonna just wait. He cannot defuse right now. He's got two enemies right outside by the red box. He is going to peek it, but he's got two guys there, so, oh, that's Ooh. it, Noble laying prone, a little snake action there into Maka, so, right now, score is going to be 10 to 3, I believe, yes, 10 to 3 for Emperor. Yep, that would be it, uh, that would be the correct score there, 10 to 3, so right now, we're going to go on in and listen to Imperian's uh, War Room, so let's go there now, Lime. The nades are really late. Got one back here. Mid, break container again. He's wow, low. underneath mid. Like, camping by the barrels on the opposite side. Back A, I think. He pushed me. It's A bomb going left side. Nice shot. There's another guy mid still. This guy B, mid. Red, B, M, G. I'm back mid right now. So bad. One guy's coming up for me, buddy. There's one, one mid. Dead. Mid dead. dead. That guy's B. You guys can probably get a plant on it. Got it. I'm going Big base for mid. Nice. Wow, I cannot All right, believe back it. Back to live action cut. there. Felony just couldn't get the job done, so right now it is uh, 11 to 3, and just uh, just a couple more rounds here for Imperian to put this uh, to rest here, and uh, we'll see what happens on this particular round. Starbuck, let's uh, let's take it off to start there and let us know what they're doing here off the push. All right, now we've got looks like a B mid push. We've got four people going to mid and one person staying back in the alley. And check that hype is actually going to go into A with his friend Noble as Snake and the Flying Rice. They are just rushing right now. Imperian is just rushing into the A bomb site. Three guys, Toxie, though, retaliating into Snake. Perfect push there from Emperor. It looks like they have smoke down. They had people going A and mid. So right now, the only person left is Toxic in A, and he gets Ooh. taken out by Noble. So right now, it is going to be a one on four. Wow. Felony, the only player left, takes out Mr. K one on three. This is his round. He needs to get this. Uh, he's getting shot at from every which direction, though. It doesn't look like he's going to get an MP5 in hand. Gets taken Ooh. out by fear. Really quick round. Anger. Yeah, Felony was trying to hide behind a palm tree. Not a very wise choice there, but he did uh, get the reload in and, and try to get out of there. But fear had him on lock there. So right now it is uh, 12 to 3, I believe, here. Am I correct on that? Yep, sure is. This may be it for uh, 
for Bioentricity here. So let's go to their war room right now. Let's go to Bioentricity right now. Here in mid, they might be coming around behind you guys. One ten, one ten, one ten. Nice. He's up there. Flash out. Dropped. Top A. Stairs of A, I think. I can probably yeah, stop the plant. He's on the stairs. I'm on the lower stairs. I think I hear him. He's faking it. Nice rest. All right, back to live action there. And Hype really had a tough challenge there, Starbuck. And um, really, Violentricity here lives to uh, fight another round here. <laughs> yeah, they do. And it might be short lived. Uh, like we said, Emperor only needing one more round here. And they've got about uh, nine more rounds to go to get that round. So. Uh, they need to just push something extremely hard and hope for the best here to get this round. Uh, right now we've got a, looks like a mid split here into A and into B. So right now ma mainly mid as Noble gets it in range of flying rights. But Mordecai answers back into Noble. Three on four. Mordecai raping it up into Snake. I'm going to follow Mordecai right now as he's going to go into the hole in the wall site. See someone there. Doesn't get flashed. Nice job there. Into Fear. Good job, Mordecai. That's, oh, wow, really his round here right now. Spots someone in Felony and Toxic. Into Hype and Mr. K, respectively. Excellent round by electricity, and I can tell you, if they can duplicate this round again, it might be a long match, Anger. Well, again, they're going to have to do do it really quick here. Uh, they have a <laughs> lot of rounds to make of Starbuck, and it's going to be difficult. But then again, we've seen crazier things in, in COD 4, so I wouldn't be that surprised, but just a little. Yeah, it'd be really surprising if they can pull this out. I believe they need about seven or eight rounds. Um, as Mr. K there putting Emperor M on top, 5-4. to four. Nice nade into Mordecai, trying to go through the hole. Toxic, though, into Hype. So right now, Anger is a 4-on-3. Yeah, score right now, 12-5, to five, and uh, we have Felony and Flying Rice, Maka going up. Ooh, Felony getting taken out there. And uh, right now, we have Flying Rice and Maka for Violent Tristy to keep their hopes alive, so the pressure is on these two. Uh, Maka in the A site. And Imperium, Mr. K, getting the bomb down right now, so this is going to be difficult for Flying Rice and Maka here. We got Flying Rice in mid buildings right now, hidden over to the second floor, and we have uh, Maka uh, coming away from the A side, going one. Oh, takes out Noble with a nice MP5 shot there. So uh, Fear on top of the uh, mid building, and uh, right now everybody is pretty much spread out for the uh, Imperium side right now. So Mr. K and Fear going. Up against Maka and Flying Rice, a table for four. Who's going to pick up the check here between these uh, four players here? Flying Rice just hovering around. Uh, the bomb has been uh, uh, planted here. About 25 seconds left as Flying Rice is trying to get into bomb site B right now. Giving a fake defuse. No, he's going for the full throttle here. He's got about 18 seconds to do this. He has about three quarters. To oh, Mr. K just raped him out. Fear cleaning up Maka. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Empyrean taking this 13 to 5. Yeah, great job there. I, you know what, Anger? I thought it was going to be closer than that. But Violentricity, probably not their best map here. Uh, they just didn't show you know, the kind of dedication and teamwork that Emperor showed. i got to tell you, those Emperor and A rushes are <laughs> vicious. They smoke it, they nade it, and then they go full throttle into A. So i got to give them props right here. Yeah, right now they're just going to be playing this out for uh, for CPI there and or IPI. So they're going to be playing this out right now. So we'll we'll be watching this as we're going to get over some shoutouts. But I myself am happy this map is out of rotation. Me personally, I hate this map. First of all, I suck at COD 4. But <laughs> second of all, I mean I'm a freaking nade magnet on this map. So I'm like so happy to leave this map and play another one. Uh, right now.
I have some shout outs here. I'm going to get a couple and then I'll put it over to you and then we'll just bounce back and forth here, Starbucks, with shout outs. Uh, right now I have right. Saint Cutie from RP. Shout out to Risk. You suck, bro. Stop being a faggot. That is from Saint. Okay. Uh, be a little nicer, buddy. We have white, one from White Fang from Axis. Anger's a pimp. Axis is with you guys all the way. Uh, shout out to all E-Rev. E-Rev kicks ass. So does Axis Solutions coming to game near you. All right. Thank you, White Fang, there for pimping out. And uh, we have one from Nexus from Muse. Shout out to Imperian with my boys Ryan Shiny Ray of Light Dijon, Jenny, and, and JT the Snacker. And that's from my man Muse from Nexus there. We saw him raping face earlier tonight. Uh, we have one from Stocky. Uh, that's a hella old, wow, LL. I guess that was from my head, shoulder, knees, and toes uh, little blast there, but <laughs> who cares? It's all good. We have one from Tuki. Shout out to all the Imperian supporters and fans. All shout outs to our sponsors. Go to GamingDonorRight.com. I guess I'm saying that right. Uh, for, for any hosting event and game server needs. Damn, Tuki, you're just pimping it out, boy. Look at you. Uh, go ahead, uh, Starbuck, with yours. I have some more left over, but go ahead, get yours out. All right, I just have a few right now, uh, maybe getting more in. I have one right here from Shelf, my teammate. He's a shout-out to Cal Tim. Thanks for the help in the Anarchist match. Uh, he was specking it. And thanks, uh, shout-out to Anger for having the most manly-smelling B.O. in the lands, Anger. Is that true? Uh, well, if he could sniff it through the uh, Cat5 cable <laughs> and through the Internet when I'm on your vent, then, yeah, I, I guess so then. I guess, you know, whatever. All right, don't worry, Shelf. I'll get you back, and I'm not going to get you on anymore on any cast. So don't even <laughs> think about it. <laughs> All right. I have one right here from Logan. He says, uh, shout out to my lovers, the E-Rev casting duo. And that's it for now. Back to you. All right, I have one from, uh, from High Five from Sway. Shout out to Wiz, my last round. Clutch partner, also to my teammates in Sway for letting me in there. PSBF2 greater than COD4 Sway. Uh, sometimes I would have to agree with you because I'm telling you I suck so bad at COD4. But then again, Battlefield wasn't any better. But anyway, uh, I have one from uh, Nikki Style from the Chinese Pirates. Can I borrow an account? No, Nikki Styles, you can't. Too bad. But you can join the site. I know there's some problems on the site. We apologize for that. We had to change it over to... Uh, a new dedicated box so we're fixing out those little couple bugs that we had so please be patient uh, we're sorry about that but we'll make sure we'll give your teams uh, a direct link to the cast so you guys can enjoy those uh, those casts that you guys are in we have one from uh, Hellfire Empire from Runner He's one of our writers here at E-Rev shout out to JT Snake former H HFE representation son that's from Runner Hold on. Uh, we have one from Radiance. Wow, I haven't seen him. Oh, my man Salvia, the Cal Forum whore. I haven't seen him on the forums lately. Shout out to all the teams who played tonight. Good games all around. Good luck to everyone next week. You, give it, you guys still uh, spell next a little bit better there, Salvia. And yes, Inger, I didn't forget about, my, about you, baby. Nice casting as usual. Thank you, Salvia. You are a Cal Forum slut. Uh, we have one from BB Inu. Shout out to Ninja again. He still loves penis. That's from uh, Inu. And uh, thanks for letting us know that. I think uh, Starbuck needs to know that more than I will because I don't like penis. We have one from Hip Shot <laughs> DNO. Shout out to Anger for being a legal Mexican and Starbuck for having more ex girlfriends than me. D Master has rice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I have papers there, uh, uh, Hip Shot, but nice try, bro. It's all good, though. We have one from Connection Interrupted Script. Uh, Tuma, you. Wow. Tuma, you you know you love me? Wow, Scrib, you got to learn how to spell, bro. Valentine's Day is coming up. You're getting rose petals leading to my naked body on your parents' bed. Love you, babe. Wow, that's the Tuma. Wow, look at you, Scrib, trying to get romantic and shit. Wow, you'd be wearing a G-string? That's what I, you know, hey. <laughs> well, do your thing. Do your thing. Well, you make wish. sure you wear condoms. Make sure you do wear condoms, bro. We have one from uh, Dove here. Good game. O-A-O-A. James thought he could drop the 40 bomb. Boyer isn't shit. Oh yeah, e rev have my baby. Uh, if, well, okay, we'll let that one go. And also from Mercer, shout out, congrats, Imperian. All right, that's from Mercer. And that's all I have right now. Well, I do have some X fires. But I'll get those out. Uh, Starbuck, do you have any more? Uh, well, right now I just like to give the verbal finger out to my ex-girlfriend today because she was being a bitch. Good thing she's never gonna listen to this cast. 
Right, I do have a shout-out, though, from Sparks. He says, uh, oh, my goodness, anger smells like clam dip. I think you do smell like clam dip, anger. And he says, wanted to shout-out to Wojo for being the best ant eater in the world. So there you have it. And Clam dip? Clam dip. Yes, anger. You don't know what wow. clam dip. Wow. And anger, after you're done with that, I do have the results for tonight. So just hit me up. Okay. Well, let me get this last shout out here right. uh, that I have from Gator uh, Valle, our, one of our other writers here at EREV. A big up to all the COD4 players who live in Canada. That's my shout. Gator Valle, thank you. Uh, all the people in Canada love you for that. Actually showing them some love. And uh, Gnome, don't worry. The cast will be up. My man Limek just uh, casted your match. He's casting this one. So once this one's over, we'll get you up, Gnome. And don't worry, buddy. We'll get that cast up. We'll see you owning some shit up. So uh, go ahead. Let's uh, get some Cal scores uh, for tonight, Starbuck. Uh, let's start it off with your match. Our <laughs> All right. Our match, DNO beating even flow 18 to 6. Good game there by EF. Uh, you know, at the beginning we were kind of owning them, and then they came back when I started to sweat, had to kick some ass in vents, and we finally denim won. Does that. That's a lie. Yeah, it was a denim disaster waiting to happen, but we pulled it out there. So right now, Radiance uh, beating Rebels Gaming 13 to 11, uh, Loading beating Orgle Esports in overtime 16 to 12. They were tied 12 12, and then uh, Loading uh, putting it into fifth gear, uh, winning 4 0 on overtime. So good job to them. Uh, Legacy beating Dead right there, 14 to 10. Furious Gaming beating Area 51, 14 to 10. Uh, Makeshift beating Dynamic, 18 to 6. Uh, looks like Firefighters losing the Powerhouse, 16 to 8. And Platoon X, PTX beating Raping Team Warchild, 21 to 3. United wow. Gamers. <laughs> No, yeah, United I mean, Gamers. Geez, no condoms, no Vaseline, no, no pickle juice, nothing. Mm -mm, just straight, straight bone dry. Wow. Yeah. Trust me, it doesn't feel good. Uh, I mean, okay, right now, going back uh, <laughs> to United Gamers losing to Sway Gaming, uh, sixteen to thirteen. Sway takes it in overtime, uh, four to one overtime victory there. Um, and the rivalry, as Braddock says. Uh, <laughs> Nexus and Eximia's 18 to 6 uh, for Nexus. Uh, and the hoodie is winning with a forfeit win uh, against Phoenix, 13 to 0. And of course, uh, Nightfall kicking 47 off the team. A lot of good action going on in the um, in the Godfrag uh, forums. Everyone should read it. You can get a kick. Um, I already said DNO you know, winning. Uh, Frag Dom there beating End Effect, 14 to 10. Uh, once again, that does appear not to be in overtime. My bad. Guardians beating Regen 17 to 7. So uh, Havoc's there. Good job. Dirty Birds beating JCP 15 to 9. That was a good match. Uh, I was uh, yeah, that was pretty close. Uh, Anarchists though beating Lossless 13 to 0 after Lossless's uh, Lossless's Lossless's after Lossless's uh, 22 to 2 devastation against Evenflow last week, and of course Evenflow. Yes, you are one to one now. Thank you. Sit down. So, and that's it. And of course, anger. The disputes for tonight. Uh, I'm going to tell you who's going to get disputed tonight. Uh, I'm just kidding. Back to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I have my last shout out, and then we're going to put this to bed here. We have one from Connection Interrupted. Cot. Shout out to Tuma for carrying the bottom of the scoreboard like a champ. And uh, that is it. Thank you, Cot, for that. And on that note, we will say uh, goodbye. But before we do, make sure you uh, idle us, please, here at Pound E Rev. And uh, again, we'll try to idle back. And we we love the support you guys give us here. And uh, also, uh, make sure you. There's not a lot of people in the channel, but some of you West Coast love uh, peep players out there. Make sure you pound Giga Frag, and uh, it's G I G A F R A G. Make sure you uh, hit that IRC channel for some. Uh, West Coast love there. Uh, the the uh, land will go down in March. I will be there live. There'll be about four or five of us from Era. We'll uh, be doing some live casts from there in mid March. So make sure you uh, get some information over there at Pound Giga Frag. So, Starbuck, great night as uh, we look at a recap here. Uh, pretty much of a destruction there. Their Empyrean just really uh, clubbing violent Tricity there like a baby seal. Yeah, like I said, I thought it'd be closer. It wasn't uh, Voluntricity now. Uh, I believe they're going to go, um, yeah, 0-2 there. So they're going to have to pick it up a little bit uh, if they want to make playoffs. 
you know, I think as long as you do uh, win about, if, if you go even, you have a shot. If you're less than even, if you're under the 50% margin, then you are in trouble. Uh, of course, RPI matters if the points are tied. So that's all to be in cons uh, consideration. I'd say after about week six or seven, people should start looking on the forums for that main candidate list. Um, so it'll be interesting. But right now, the next map, of course, it is going to be City Streets. And I know that we are going to be covering the TGL as well as SIVO uh, matches this week. So tune in. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're going to be having Pandemic uh, going up against, I believe it's the Guardians on Thursday and Valentine's Day. I won't be covering it because I'll be with my wife, but somebody will be covering. That's going to be an outstanding match if I can get it set up. So those two teams, hopefully I'll be knocking on your door soon. So uh, that will be for Thursday. Uh, until then, for myself, Anger, Starbuck, and Limek, the uh, Canuck up north, we're going to say goodnight, Von Voyage.